get in for the roof, though. Let's go to the roof. We're going to the roof. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go. go. Get the laptop. Get the laptop. Ah, oh, shit. Laptop. Lenovo ThinkPad tripod. Link in description for both. <laughs> <laughs> we'll link the lawn chairs as well. <laughs> Let's go, fam. All right, fam. All right. When the whole squad lit. Rooftop conversations, part two. This is our last day in Denmark, actually. It is. So. We leave for Cancun tomorrow. God, I can't wait to get out of this shithole. Yeah. Jeez. It's not a shithole. I just thought it'd be funny to say. So pale. Well, this video is about. 10 facts about audiobooks you probably didn't know. Now the title might say something differently, but that's because we're targeting keywords. Yes. So, 10 facts about audiobooks. What we could do, or what I originally did, was I found a bunch of stats and like, most of them were just about how audiobooks are booming, skyrocketing, all these things, but we already know that. that we those are facts already. Those are facts. So. Like, we already know that, don't need to talk about that. So it's not gonna be anything about like growth and like, if you don't already believe us, here's a graphic to prove it. That's that's what audiobook sales look like. We could also sit talk all day about how ebook sales are going down. See, see how see how steep that decline is. Yeah, and look at that look at that very steep incline for audiobooks. Yeah, compare them side by side. That's pretty. Which intense. one do you want to be a part of? I mean, these are just statistics. So okay, hate facts. Hate yeah. facts. These are hate okay. Facts. Let's get on the video. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I, so the thing, the special thing about these 10 facts is these are 10 facts about audiobooks that we can apply to our businesses. It's not just bullshit. No, it's not just bullshit facts. Like, a, I have a list of facts. I found some bullshit facts. Bullshit facts are like 26% of the US population has listened to audiobooks in the last 12 months. Like, I don't okay, care. you probably didn't know that, but how can you apply that to your business? You probably can't. 52% of audiobook listeners are male. Like, Sick. that's so pointless. Yeah. 48% of listeners are under 35. Yeah, I don't we, give a fuck. Yeah, we, we get it. You get it. Okay, get I'm it. sorry. Let's oh. move on. So these are going to be facts, very informative facts that you can take, you can dissect, and you can apply into your business. And I have not heard a single, I have not read the 10 facts he's put together. So it's yeah. going to be a live reaction yeah. by me Yeah, I put these. these together. So okay. I have no idea what's going to be included yeah. here. And then here next to my notes, it says plug, plug, plug. So let's do that. Okay, let's plug. Um, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So do that. Like the video. Like, just, just do those things before you continue, please. Just do those things. Um, link in description to join our email list. In exchange, you get this sick PDF. That should, that'll change your life. Okay. Course coming soon. Yeah. We'll talk I about- I had to say that, okay. Yeah, okay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, we're starting out hot, right off the bat, like a money one. What's number one? The first thing is, the most popular category in audiobook sales, like according to sales, this is gonna be good. These are statistics. These are not just something, oh, these are our favorite. This is what we, know we think is best. Okay, good, good. And also link in description to these statistics, okay? okay. I didn't make them up. Okay. First one is the most popular category in audiobook sales is mystery slash suspense slash thriller. That's number one. That's fact number one. How do we apply that? Uh, we'll Are you telling me I should make all no, mystery? No, no. See, that's certainly not what I'm I saying. Know, I, I know. I know that's not. Yeah. We're, we're gonna. I'm wondering what the yeah. applicable information is here. We'll, we'll get there. Okay. Number fact number two is the second most popular category in terms of sales is sci-fi slash fantasy. Okay. This is interesting so far. So like aliens and like aliens and shit. Wizards and stuff. Yeah, wizards. Number three is. Uh, no. Okay. Not gonna do it. Fact number three for this video is the third most popular category is romance. Are you noticing a theme so far? That leads us into the fourth fact, which is nearly 75% of audiobook sales are fiction. That, very interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, that is super crazy. That is very interesting. The fact that we can make the money we have on just nonfiction, which is 25% of all sales. Yeah. Um, but what do we do with that? Okay, yeah. Let, let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. First of all, we make money in nonfiction, and this does not change anything in regards to that. Okay. Fiction is where you should stay and make your money. But wait, wait, what? Nonfiction. Sorry, sorry, nonfiction. Okay. But fiction, there is an opportunity. There's obviously insane amounts of demand. I mean, in our audiobook income academy is mostly about nonfiction, but we ninety nine percent about nonfiction. Not ninety nine. 
What, 97. Ni okay, fine, 97. We do have a 20 minute lesson talking all about fiction and romance because that is something you should totally sprinkle into your library. I do agree with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do but agree You should not that. start with that, but yeah. So I just thought that was very interesting. Because the potential is clearly fucking massive. Yeah. Considering how much demand there is. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about why there's so much demand? We go into it in that Yeah, video. so it's because fiction and non-fiction readers slash listeners slash customers actually behave very differently. Very differently. So for non-fiction... Oh, okay, this is better. That is better. So for non-fiction, someone will type in keto book or whatever. They're gonna buy a book, an audiobook about keto. They're gonna learn all about it. They're gonna start not eating any carbs. Let's not, let's okay, not, okay, 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 this okay. is not the point of the video. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They're gonna lose weight and then that's gonna be the end of it and they got their keto fix, okay? But for fiction, so let's say romance, someone's You're on the first page, they're buying the whole first page. <laughs> <laughs> to, to put it bluntly. Get to the point. To put it bluntly, the point. that's how. There's an unlimited amount of stories that they want to read. Yeah, literally, literally unlimited. Specifically, rom romance readers are never satisfied. They can never get enough of the <laughs> They read no. They read 10 no. shit. They read 10 a day and it just goes on for Ever. Yeah. Every single day they read 10 more because you can never get enough. Yeah. And they just want more and more yeah. and more. Okay. Oh, now the wind's coming in strong. Oh, 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 oh there's a bee on the fucking thing. That's not a bee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> get out of here. All right. So those were our first four facts. Maybe not the most applicable because we're saying not to do it. Really what you can take out of it is there's a lot of demand, but don't just go into fiction, okay? That's not what I'm saying. See, that, that's why this, this is going to lead into the fifth fact, okay. which is, incidentally, the top three most popular genres in audiobooks are also the top three most popular genres in ebooks. Yeah. So, what we can conclude from that is there's a lot of crossover between ebooks and audiobooks, which is why, honestly, the Kindle store and looking at ebooks is your best resource for finding demand in the audiobook store. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I mean, that's what it's about. So this is what we talk all about in the course. People like to do research for demand and competition together. Now, let's first get straight that you need high demand, low competition to make sales. Of course. But people want to do the research together. But how we do it and how you totally should is separate the two. Yeah. So first you find the demand. And you find the demand. You go straight to the highest of the high. Yeah. The exactly. very highest demand you can find. Exactly. And you're going to find that in the Kindle store. What are people buying? What are the topics? everyone wants to learn about okay that's what they're buying as audiobooks as well mm -hmm. so then you can go to go to the audible store and you're gonna look at competition on the audible store which is minuscule and minute right now there is like no competition and then you put them together you have your super high demand super low competition and you can create audiobooks that can make over a thousand bucks a month it's silly shit guys oh yeah so that was fact number five okay, okay. fact number six is, oh, I don't want to look at them yeah this don't look at a surprise it. to me the most popular non-fiction category, which was fourth overall. Should I take a guess or? No. Okay. Well, you might know it. Is business and money. Yeah, that's what I was. That's guess. the number one audiobook niche. They call it category according to audiobook sales. So basically, sales. So yeah, right. That's you could basically. What that means is it has the highest demand of any niche, any non-fiction. In non-fiction, yes. And like we said, we go straight to the highest of the high demand. Yeah. See, while the, doing our audiobook research with ebooks and and uh, in the Kindle store. What you're trying to do is you're trying to find the highest demand where there isn't competition. And that's so, really hard because so, everything yeah, has so, high competition So you now. can't go into keto diet. You can't go into stocks investing. I don't know. Investing some People bullshit. Think, yeah. And then this one I thought was very interesting. This is the fifth most popular category on Audible. Okay. And that okay, is, you, okay behind oh, the four. No, yeah. Oh, not Audible. In audiobooks in general. Okay. Number fifth is... Number five. Number five. Number fifth. Number five. Let's wait for this wind. He wasn't waving at you. I know, but it looks like I'm being kind. I'm, okay. Whatever. <laughs> hey, neighbor. Okay. So the fifth most popular category amongst audiobook sales is children's audiobooks. Yes. How does that make you feel? Yes. Yeah. I love that. I know. It's so untapped. We've I never know. tried we it. We have not gone into it, but... But like, we said previously that, like, we know there's really high demand and, like, it's something we really, really want to try. Mm -hmm. Children's audiobooks. Yeah. Holy shit. That's the fifth most. Like, let's get it. Over self-help. Over health and fitness. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. So there's a lot to work with there. Definitely going to get into that. And yeah, it's so, uh, 
children's audiobooks, uh, it's like so much more obscure. Like you have to be more creative. Yeah, very creative, and it's totally things you can make yourself. Yeah. Those, and that's a big part of the course. There's totally no fucking competition. And right a big there, part of what we think people who are like kind of strapped for cash, who are trying to ball on a budget, mm -hmm. uh, totally make your own audiobooks, and we talk we talk all about that. So, again, link in description for these statistics. I did not make these up. Okay. Uh, that's seven facts. Fact number eight is 32% of audiobooks are listened to in the car. Okay, yes. that might sound okay. Yes. They might be like, okay, that's pointless. But no, you can apply that to your business. That's and not one thing at all. Say, and that's a lot as well. 32 yeah. maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot. Yeah, or listen. Now, I have no idea how they know that. How the hell do you know that? That I'm listening to my audiobooks in the car. You take a survey and then you extrapolate to the whole population. You know how they do that sort of stuff. Anyway. Right, right. right. <laughs> that, is, that is how they know it. Okay. Yeah. I was just being cynical, thinking that they were spying on us. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I actually have a series of audiobooks that I wrote myself uh, that was themed around for listening in your car. Yeah. And they and they do really good. It's those... Isn't it I want to bleep this out. It's the ones. Yeah. Aren't they... What do they call Like, dot, 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 to learn in your car or some shit like that? Yes. Yeah. Or oh, I forget what I titled it. But, yeah. For your car, while driving. And one of the new audiobooks... And look, no one else is doing that. So I then know. you got 32% of those motherfuckers looking mm -hmm. at this book. Yeah. And there are people searching audiobooks to listen to in the car. Yeah. Wait for the wind. And one of the audiobooks we ordered recently in the Road to 10K, plug it somewhere if you want to watch that, a specific, we, we did the same thing there. Mm-hmm. For while driving. Mm-hmm. Are you going to bleep that out? Yes. Okay. Um, Cars is the second most popular place to listen to audiobooks. Okay, yeah. There's another one that's ahead. Yeah, what's most popular that? is at home. So, I don't know how much we can apply that. Like, keto at home? No. No, don't no. even. Exactly. So, that's why I thought the Cars one was interesting. You could totally build an audiobook series around for your car, for driving. Yeah. 100%. Think about that. So, that was fact number eight. Fact number nine. So, this is a survey that was taken. They asked a survey of, I don't know, a few thousand frequent listeners, which was defined as... They listen to four audiobooks or more a month. So these that, are like... That is a lot. These That's are stupid. your skilled audiobook listeners. Okay. So you can trust these with whatever yeah, yeah. they say. So a few thousand survey was, why do you listen to audiobooks? That Ooh, was the question. Okay. That That's was the good. question. We can learn a lot from this, yeah. I think. No, we, this is really good. Is it to learn? Is it to be entertained? Yeah. The top four answers okay. were one, good for long car trips. Ooh, Isn't that interesting? Yeah, really? Which is, yeah, that's what they said. I feel like it would be to learn, but... Okay. okay. And then number two was for relaxing. Okay, which so plays that a big one, there's role. a lot you can do with that. Yes, yes. There's a lot you can do with which that. The, uh, the series of 34 short audiobooks that we had ordered, they're all, all in that about, category. Yeah. They're all for relaxing. Yeah. Um, that's good, that's good. Pumped to hear that. Yeah. People trying to relax while listening to audiobooks. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, so the third most popular answer was listening to some books is more interesting than reading them. I, I would agree with that. That would be my answer, I guess. Yeah, that's what I said. I yeah. just said, I don't want to read. I want to listen. Yeah. And then the fourth most popular answer was, this is interesting, useful in helping children improve their reading skills. Yep. Reading skill. Now we're getting more specific Very with the children's specific. books. But reading skills. We've already been down this path. Yeah. I, in terms of our thinking, but we haven't yeah. like uh, actually tried it out. Link to these statistics in the bottom, but that seems oddly specific for the fourth most popular answer. Yeah. So, wind. All right. So it's to help children learn uh, reading skills. Yeah. Reading skills. Reading skills specifically. That's, Which is that, really no. Really, that's actually pretty big. That's very big. Yeah. Helping children improve their reading skills. All right, and then the tenth. This is the 10th fact, final fact of the video. This one I thought was really interesting. Okay. This was, I left, I, I left the best for last. Okay. So this, Maybe we should do a countdown from 10 to one then. No. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, you do want to leave this for the end. Okay. This one was my favorite. This is the most game changing one. Okay. 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 Put on my seatbelt for this one. Yeah, put on your seatbelt. <laughs> okay. Link to this one is in the description as well. 100% <laughs> of audiobook income academiers are lit as f <laughs> and can achieve their dreams. <laughs> it's good. Ah. Yeah, no. I was hoping it would say will achieve their dreams, but I guess why I said can because you have to put in the work, okay? Yeah. That's what it comes down to. You got to put in the work. We're going to supply all the resources and everything you need to achieve your dreams, okay? Dude, fact 10 was fucking lit. Yeah, I know. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, so that's those 10 audiobook facts.
that's definitely something you can learn from. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought they started off kind of weak, <laughs> but then as we got on, <laughs> yeah. it came yeah. some really good stuff. No, no. What what was confusing was I was talking about how the top three most popular categories were fiction, fiction, fiction. Seventy five percent of all audiobook sales are fiction, and then I said. Don't do fiction. So that didn't make much sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's why I feel like I should have reviewed these before we filmed yeah. the video. Um, that's why we do that from now on. But still do stick to nonfiction. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, fiction is a whole different ball game. It's completely, completely different. Oh, uh, but, ooh, I want to mention something real quick. Okay. So in the course, yeah, we have a 20-minute fiction lesson where we actually reveal every single fiction book we've ever made. I want to stress every single one. Like, Exactly the one. Yeah. So I have 25 of them. You have... About the same. About the same. We reveal all of them. And we go through them. Uh, now, two of them... Uh, are Two of them are bangers. Hours. I I have two fiction audiobooks. They don't, they're not doing it right now. But uh, over $1,000 a month they've done before. Over th each. Yeah. Yep. Fiction. So, don't get me wrong with the whole don't do fiction when I say that. Uh, there's totally ways to do fiction. And it's make a, a lot of money with it. And of course, those two were bundles. Yeah. They were I was, bundle, was going to say, I want to point out. bundles of fiction stories. Yeah. So, so but it's not Short easy. story fiction bundles. Specifically, yes. Imagine the children's ones. Imagine that. Yeah. Seriously. All right, we're giving away way too much. Let's end this video right now. Thanks okay. for watching. Bye. Psych! All right, guys. So if you made it this far in the video, you got to let us know. You got to let us know and do that by dropping some... Basketball emojis. Hit us with the basketball emojis. Why? Because, listen, the Audiobook Income Academy is for ballers, okay? It's for big ballers. If you're, if you're just, like, want to dabble, you want to try it out, it's not for you. I'm telling you right now, like, it's seven, eight hours of video content, okay? It's for the ballers. Well, the people that are dead you know serious what I'm saying? trying to make the, the ballers. Do you, do you 5K, get it? 5K, okay. 10K a month, more. Yeah. Like, if you're just trying to get in and like have a little fun, it's not for you. Well, it's that just right also now. not the kind of student that we want. No, yeah. yeah like, just no. being honest there. You know, like, Success and money, that's what we're about. So, yeah, it's for the big ballers. B, 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 no. B, big baller course, B, B, C. <laughs> ah. BBA, the Big Ball Academy. Yeah. Okay, Big Ball Academy. Uh, should we change? Drop the basketballs. Okay. Alright, peace out. <laughs> Alright, psych, video's not over yet. We always gotta end these rooftop uh, videos with something epic. So, what I was thinking, last video, I did a backflip. I'm no. I'm gonna do a backflip off the roof. Shut the fuck up. No, you're not. That's the table right there. Oh, uh, holy. I mean, if you land on the table, it's not that high of a jump. I can't think. I can't think. Okay, just send it. Just send I just it. Have to I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna do it. All right, ready? Go on that side. All right. Dude. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck All right. it. For the video. All right, go, 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 go. Fuck no, I'm not gonna do a backflip off the roof. You, th you thought I was gonna do that? I'm not doing that.